It is semi-automatic, equipped with the latest technology, extremely lethal from the outside, while protecting the soldiers inside. Meet Carmel, the armored car of the future. The Israeli Ministry of Defense showcased the newly developed ground fighting vehicle, one that is far different than anything seen before. This is the transparent cockpit solution, okay, screens which enable us 360 degree view. You can see the top 180 over here, and the bottom 180 is the rear. So I see the front and I see the rear. I have a 360 degree view. I don't need to turn my head anywhere. The attacking capabilities of Carmel are enormous, almost like those of a fighter jet. It can fire missiles, it can fire from its cannon, it can even send drones to find targets and destroy them, and it does it while helping the soldiers inside select the right kind of weapon. You can see here in purple, this is ATR, automatic target recognition, right now already finding certain points which it recognizes as targets. The ATR will give me a detection, and me as an operator, all I need to do is hold these, shoot it down, and that way you use the autonomous systems in order to shoot down targets. For now, the system is placed only in existing armored vehicles, but it is already changing their concept, as technology allows those vehicles to operate with two people inside instead of four, this in preparation for future, much smaller models. In the future, we want to see a uh, lighter vehicle, uh, very uh, uh, light, very uh, efficient, very precise. You want it to be very small, so you need to have less people in the, in the cockpit. Israel has fought its last wars mainly from the air. It's a kind of war with very few casualties for the IDF, but one that does not bring a decisive victory. Carmel is meant to change that. When it is time to make the one final ground maneuver, the one that wins the war, these are the vehicles and this is the technology that will come in and the IDF expects it to deal Hamas and Hezbollah the final blow.